let us see the the teeth the structure of teeth inside the buccal cavity i told you inside the buccal cavity there is there is tongue and tooth we already discussed about the tongue now inside the buccal cavity there are teeth let us see the structure of tooth i took an individual tooth and we are seeing the structure of that tooth now the tooth basically is made up of dentin it is called dentin now this part of the dentin a part of the dentin is present embedded inside the jaw bone see this is the jaw bone this is all jaw bone that means there is a, there is a cavity inside the jaw bone the cavity is called as alveolus the cavity is called as alveolus now the tooth the tooth are present to the upper jaw as well as lower jaw the upper jaw i told you is called maxilla the lower jaw is called as mandibles so there are alveoli present in maxilla alveola present in mandibles the tooth are embedded inside the alveoli so maxillary teeth mandibular teeth maxillary teeth on the upper jaw mandibular teeth on the lower jaw now you can see that area is the that area is the gum so this this area is the gum it's a fleshy connective tissue which is present at the base of the tooth remember tooth partly it is embedded inside partly it is exposed outside P part of the teeth which it is exposed outside is called as crown basically a tooth has got three parts and one is the crown part of the tooth which is exposed outside is called crown part of the area which is embedded inside the alveolus which is present inside the jaw bone it is called root and part of the area that part of the area is called root part of the area you can see that fleshy gum where gum is present it is called root so basically in a tooth we have got three parts part which is exposed externally outside part which is embedded inside and a place in between that part which is exposed outside is called as crown part which is embedded inside the root inside the jaw bone is called root part which is exposed outside is called crown and in between the where that fleshy region that gum like structure is present it is called as root now this this hard area th this total area i told you is made up of dentin so this this is the dentin this total area is the dentin now the exposed part of the crown is covered by a substance now dentin in the crown region is covered by a substance called as enamel it's called enamel enamel is the hardest substance in the body it is light yellow to grayish white in color enamel does not contain collagen you can see in case of dentin and cementum that we will we'll later discuss so those parts the other parts collagen is present but in enamel collagen is absent 96% of enamel is made up of water 
the remaining 4% contains organic substances include some proteins the proteins includes enamelins amelogenins we are seeing the composition of enamel enamel 96% of which is water the remaining 4% contains organic substances organic substances include certain proteins like enamelins and amelogenins the enamel is originating from ameloblast cells the cells are called ameloblast cells the ameloblast cells are ectodermal in origin that is the composition of enamel behind this there is dentin now in between dentin and jawbone you can see two structures so this area so immediately above the jawbone you can see periodontal membrane in between the tooth and jawbone coming from towards the tooth so in the alveolar cavity first there is periodontal membrane periodontal membrane is made up of dense irregular fibrous connective tissue that is followed by that is followed by cementum so that area is cementum so you can see you can see outside in the in the alveolus outside there is periodontal membrane and towards inside that means in between periodontal membrane and dentin you can see cementum cementum is a soft form of dentin only you see the composition of dentin and cementum cementum contains 50% of hydroxyapatite if i say cementum it contains 50% hydroxy apatite when i say hydroxy apatite it is calcium phosphate the remaining 50% contains collagen and proteoglycans when i say pro proteoglycan a, a core of protein it is cross linked with glycosaminoglycan so it's a complex so proteoglycan collagen together makes up 50% the remaining 50% is calcium phosphate that's the composition of cement but if i see the dentin if i see the dentin it contains 70% calcium phosphate so it contains more of calcium phosphate the remaining percentage contains collagen and what so that means cementum is a soft form of dentin the composition of calcium phosphate and collagen is different there is more of calcium phosphate here and less of collagen here but here there is more of collagen and less of calcium phosphate so you can say cementum is a soft form of dentin actually dentin is yellow in color is light yellow in color because enamel is trans translucent you can see that light yellow color being reflected giving coloration to the tooth now the central cavity is called as pulp cavity Th that's the central cavity is the pulp cavity remember dentin is similar to bone only difference is the haversian canal surrounds it but still cells are present so 
they are supplied with nourishment by cells here a dentine originates from odontoblast cells odontoblast cells are mesodermal in origin you can also find odontoblast cells here in the pulp cavity lining the pulp cavity there are odontoblast cells so blood supply from odontoblast cells enters into the dentine at the center you can see the pulp cavity the pulp cavity contains blood it contains blood capillaries it also contains the nerves now in the tooth inside the pulp cavity pulp cavity is the hollow cavity present at the center of the dentine you can see blood vessels the arterioles venules the capillaries of them they are entering inside nerves are also entering the pulp cavity contains odontoblast cells so they are lining the pulp cavity they pass they send blood supply to the cells present inside the dentine dentine originates from odontoblast cells odontoblast cells are mesodermal in origin enamel is originating from ameloblast cells ameloblast cells are ectodermal in origin dentine is similar to bone but haversian canals are absent dentine and cementum both contains collagen but enamel does not contain collagen hardest substance in the body is enamel place where enamel is present exposed part of the tooth is called as crown so this total area a part of the tooth is embedded inside the jaw bone it is called alveolus so in between the alveolus and dentine of the tooth outside you will see periodontal membrane periodontal membrane is made up of dense fibrous connective tissue dense irregular fibrous connective tissue and inside there is cementum cementum contains calcium phosphate and uh, collagen but cementum contains less of calcium phosphate so it's a softer form of dentine and place where gum is present and that area where gum is present is called gum is present it is called root gum is also called gingiva so that's the part called root area which is freely exposed is called crown area which is embedded inside is called as the is the neck part part of the you know, part of the gum which is part of the tooth where gum is present uh, gingiva is present is called as neck part of the tooth which is exposed outside is called as crown we are seeing the structure of tooth so in a structure of tooth you can see the tooth is embedded inside the jaw bone the, the bones of the tooth uh, the upper jaw is called maxilla the lower jaw is called mandible so there are gaps inside mandibles and maxilla where the tooth is present so gaps are called alveoli so you can see maxillary tooth and the upper jaw mandibular tooth and the lower jaw embedded inside alveolus so here we are seeing the structure of a tooth the structure of tooth contains th three parts crown neck and root part of the tooth which is exposed outside is called crown part of the area where you can see gum that area is called the neck part of the neck part of the tooth which is embedded inside the jaw bone is called as root now the crown crown contains on the outer side you can find enamel see that that is the enamel enamel is the strongest substance in the body enamel originates from ameloblast cells enamel originates from ameloblast cells ameloblast cells are ectodermal in origin enamel covers a hard substance called dentine the dentine is originating from odontoblast cells the dentine originates from odontoblast cells. see this to this total area is the is is dentine and it originates from odontoblast cells odontoblast cells are mesodermal in origin 
now in case of dentine in case of dentine and in case of cementum that we will discuss later on there is collage but in case of enamel there is no collage in case of enamel if you see the composition of enamel if you see the composition of enamel 96% is water remaining 4% contains ameloblast cells it contain it contains remaining 4% contains amelogenins and and enamelins two types of proteins enamelins and amelogenins if you see the dentine it contains up to 70% hydroxyapatite the remaining 20 to 30% contains water as well as collagen now at the center of the dentine there is a cavity the cavity is called as pulp cavity into the pulp cavity the capillaries of blood vessels arteries veins are entering inside nerves are also entering inside now remember in case of dentine haversian canal is absent as such you can see odontoblast cells lining the pulp cavity they supply nourishment to the cells present inside the dentine now in in between the jaw bone and dentine you can see on the outside you will see periodontal membrane towards inside you can see towards the inside you can see cement the outer periodontal membrane the outer periodontal membrane contains of dense irregular connective tissue the the inner the inner cementum is a softer form of dentine it contains only 50% of hydroxyapatite the remaining 50% includes collagen and proteoglycans in the pulp cavity there is blood capillaries as well as nerves so this is the structure of a tooth